I'm Adam Beach. I'm Tara Beach. I'm Michaela Conlin from Fox's Bones. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Christian from South of Nowhere. Hi, I'm Paula Patton, and you're watching In The Cut. Welcome back, America. Hey, next we're going to downtown Los Angeles for the 14th Annual Diversity Award, which honors diversity and creative talent that shines. Hi, this is Christy Wurz, and you're watching In The Cut. We're here at the Century Plaza Hotel for the 14th Annual Diversity Awards, celebrating diversity in film and television. There's a lot of big winners tonight. Let's go meet them. How are you doing? I'm a lot better. I got here in the first, I didn't know what was going on, but now I do, and I've done the red carpet and had a lot of flash bulbs beaming at me, and people making me feel like a movie star, so I feel better. I walked in here and I had somebody, hey, can you do this tie for me? I don't know how to do a tie. Now, you're the president of the Multicultural Motion Picture Association, correct? Yes, I am. The Multicultural Motion Picture Association came up, 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 about, I'd rather say, is for the fact that we saw the need of, there were so many cultures here in the United States that to come together as, to express each other's ideals and, and where we come from and share our different things in the entertainment industry. We don't dwell on of the culture aspects. We're more interested in diverse of ideals, diverse of concepts, and uh, diversity in the world we live in. So this is what it's all about. And this is how I came about this 14 years ago. And, and in that 14 years, how have things improved? I would say we have come a long way. I absolutely believe it's getting better, but I do think we've got a ways to go. And I think that the more we can do colorblind casting in Hollywood and realize that we're all human beings, the more I think we can all become more tolerant of one another. I really believe that People are very influenced by movies. I think it can change the way people think and feel. I think it's definitely improving. I'm so proud to be here because, you know, my mother is Chinese and my father's Irish and it's it's not easy. It's not an, an easy road, you know. It's sort of, there's a lot of roadblocks for, you know, ethnicities in Hollywood. And I think that you really have to make it your responsibility to, to have people see you for not just that. It's, it's improving. Um, I, you know, it's definitely, you know, we, we're... Uh, we're chipping at it slowly but surely. So, you know, um, maybe next year around this time, maybe we won't need the diversity awards. Well, yeah, we're in more, definitely more power positions and that's the reason why you are seeing so much success um, in Hollywood now because we are behind the scenes. We're writing, we're directing, we're producing. We've got our own clothing lines. We're taking charge of the images that we present to our public and the public is eating it up. They're loving us, we're sexy, we're hot, we're business people, we're movie stars, we're just a lot of different things. Certainly there's a, more room for improvement, but you're seeing a lot of things that we would have never seen 14 years ago that's, that's actually come to pass now. And I think it's we have made some strides, we've made a lot of changes and we're doing great things now. So tell us a little bit about why you're here tonight. Well, I'm presenting the Diversity Networks Award. Well, I'm receiving the uh, Diversity Award, the uh, Nova Award, which um, I think acknowledges, uh, you know, the up-and-coming uh, actor or whatnot. Yes, I, I'm, I'm receiving an award, um, the Nova Award, which is a breakout performance for 2006 for my work in Idlewild, and it really came as a shock to me. For me, it's just an honor to be a host for the Diversity Award and to be a part of it again. Uh, is, is just awesome. And, and if you're going to represent any cause, I should represent diversity, you know what I mean? So that's why I have that hair cornrows to represent diversity, even in the hair, you know? It's time. It's time for a revolution and a revolution of diversity, I think. America is diverse, you know? It's not everyone's not blonde and blue eyes and 19. <laughs> This has been a great opportunity for Hollywood to come out and celebrate diversity in a nation that is the most diverse in the world. I hope you've had a good time. I know I sure have. Now back to the studio. Next up, the Larry King Cardiac Foundation brings its mission of Save a Heart a Day to Los Angeles. We're at the Beverly Hilton Hotel tonight here in Los Angeles at the Larry King Cardiac Foundation Benefit. It's a wonderful charity and it saved many, many lives. In fact, Larry King himself had a heart attack in 1987, which inspired him to create this whole charity, of which now his son, Larry King Jr., is president. I had a heart attack and heart surgery in 87 and then found out, I, I didn't know how much it cost because insurance paid for it and then subsequently found that a lot of people aren't insured. And that's why we started this, to help people who fall between the cracks. And you're doing this with your son. Your son's a president, right? He's the president and my wife is chairperson. I started six years ago, I was on the board, and then uh, two years I took over as president. And I just meet, you meet the patients here tonight, 
and it's amazing. They come over and they give you a hug and they go, Thank, thanks for your father. Because he calls every patient. He talks to every patient we help and lets them know we're going to help them. And, you know, I admire, I admire everything my father's done, but this is what I admire him the most. How long have you been involved with this charity? Oh, ever since Larry started, I've been involved, and I think he's doing a good thing, and I'm just out to support it, and I uh, would encourage others to support it, because if more people do, you know, I think we can, uh, we can be much more progressive in the area of medicine. You know what? I have known of Larry and all of his great work in the Cardiac Foundation. So tonight, I'm really happy to be able to help him out and be here for a great cause because he literally has saved so many lives. How many lives have you saved so far? How many have we told? Oh my goodness! You know, we're 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 on the track by the end of the year to have saved uh, 100. Oh my gosh, 100 and some odd this year. I had a hole in my heart and I didn't know about it. I think it was when I was a kid, and I only found out like two years ago when I was 26 and I thought I was gonna die because the doctors were surprised I had it for that long and my sister did the research and then she she learned about the Larry Kikada Foundation and then she wrote to them and, and then they paid for everything and so I could finish my school and I could catch my dreams. All in all it's a good thing. The Larry King Cardiac Foundation provides funding for individuals due to a limited means or inadequate insurance who would otherwise be unable to receive vital cardiac treatment. Thanks, Larry. Hello, everyone. Welcome. This is Hillary Duff, and I can't wait to share with you my fashion collections for Barbie fashion designed by Hillary Duff and fashion label stuff by Hillary Duff. I live in LA and Barbie's obviously an LA girl, so we felt like, you know, Fashion Week was the perfect time to debut Barbie fashion. I really like to design clothes and we were all designing outfits that could possibly be on our Barbie dolls. You guys get to be fashion designers for a day, so do whatever you want. There's no rules. Of course it's my style, it's what I like to wear, what I feel comfortable in, and to be able to incorporate that and then see it on a Barbie and see girls get to play with it and mix and match it whatever way they like is really exciting for me. She looks like she's going out to a fun party with her friends and um, her friends are not ready getting dressed, she got ready first. Let's see what you guys want to do. Anyone think that anything cool? It was a lot of fun and I got to like sit next to her when I um, was designing the Barbie clothes. Oh, see, black boots. Black boots? What about, what about black boots with heels? The stretch denim jacket has vintage looking buttons and bustle back details with delicate embroidery. LA Fashion Week truly is a celebration of fashion and who better to celebrate than of course Barbie, the queen of fashion, and Hilary Duff who's just designed some beautiful fashions for Barbie. Now you can see why Barbie is the number one fashion doll in the world. Just like our model, Barbie knows how to rock this look with her purple mini skirt, accessorized with an oversized belt. And don't forget, my favorite, the black leggings. Well, folks, it had to happen. I'm sorry. We got no more entertainment for you tonight. This is the end of the show. So I have to say, I'm the big man, B.D. Freeman. And, of course, I'm Amy Weber. Be sure to come back next week for more In, in the, the Cuts. Cuts. Disco Party! Wait, throw some over here. I'm TV's Matthew Gray Goobler from Criminal Minds. You're watching In the Cuts. I'm TV's Paget Brewster from Criminal Minds, and you're watching In the Cuts. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Taylor Kinney. And Natalie Martinez. And you're, and you're watching, watching In the, the Cuts. cuts. <laughs> I'm Melissa Peterman, and you're watching In the Cuts.